So out here at a job today in uh, Mount Druitt for um, a customer who's with Telstra, Baskin Robbins. Now this is in the Westfield. Um, so basically what's happening is they've got a point of sale system and then in this point of sale system they've been having problems for about six months. So literally what's been going on is that uh, They've got like a little IDF here, right? Now, this has been an ongoing problem. So the, the owner of the place, he's got a few different stores around, and he's had six MBN contractors, six people from Telstra. He's had um, the Telstra router changed over once. He's had the FPOS machine changed over twice. And he's also had the um, he's had this thing called the Senor changed over as well. So what's happening? I'll just move back out here because they're serving customers. But what's happening is <coughs> the internet's been um, just dropping out. Now everything's connected via Ethernet cables. So um, yeah, the the uh, the Senor is not talking to the FPOST. So uh, there is no problem with the internet, right? So that's what I'm here today. I'm here today to just get this working once and for all. Whatever it takes, we're gonna get it going, okay? Because this has been going on for so long and they're just sick of these um, constant dropouts. So uh, there's no issues, right, with the MBN. So you can see up here, that says MBN. Now the cable behind there, it's that blue Ethernet cable that's running down to the IDF, okay? Now, when I um, go into this, the MBN socket, plug it into my DSL tester, it's working fine. So I'll let it run for maybe 15, 20 minutes, not getting any dropouts, nothing like that. Nice and solid, uh, very low noise margin. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with the internet. I will show you that test soon. So we are narrowing down what the problem is now. So um, I'll show you a little bit more in one second. Well, I'm ready. So that's this working, one, this right? one, no, this one did not talk to that. Okay, it's still not talking to each no, other. it's not talking to each other because it's on standalone mode. Right. So what I need to do now is now enter this amount. Yep. Okay. And So now what it should be doing yep. is that the moment I do this and if I go to beverage, sorry, if I go to extras, install toppings, gummy bears, if I press this, it should come up with a dollar sign over there. Okay. You yep. know, so, so that's, I don't that's, need to actually enter 100 sure. over here. So have you swapped this over to integration yep. mode yet? No, I haven't. Okay. But to do that, I need to do a little bit more than what yep. I was just showing you. Right. So, uh, okay. Now, the MBN um, goes out of that into number one, which is counter. Right. Go back out through here. That's going to the Telstra router, which is down here. Okay, so at the moment, you see that? It's, it's dropping in and out, <coughs> excuse me, of the Telstra 3 4G um, SIM. So I've done a few tests. The first test that we did, we actually disconnected MBN um, and they had Ethernet cables uh, running into one going into the center, which is this one here, and then one going into the F post. Right now, tro we troubleshooted everything, I tested all the cables, everything, all the cabling and everything is testing perfect. There is no problem with any of the cabling and there's no problem 
um, with the cabling to port number one there, which you can see has got the uh, this connector to it. So um, what we did is I switched it. I basically disconnected it from when we had it connected via Ethernet, and you went into just the computer settings, just opened up a browser. Uh, it would take. It literally took five minutes for the browser to open. Okay. So what I did is I disconnected this Ethernet cable. Right. Um, now we went and bought a Wi-Fi dongle, which is underneath here. Sorry. This is Federal So if you see underneath here, a little dongle thing, that now is talking wirelessly to to the router. Okay. So what we did is disconnected the Ethernet cable, rebooted the system, and boom, come up straight away. Opened up Ookla, done a speed test directly on here, and we're getting like 40 megabits a second. So, it's not a problem with any of that. It is a problem with this router, with the Ethernet ports on this router. So I pretty much confirmed that. The reason I was, was a little bit like, well, this one's connected to it as well right but then we went into the settings on this and we found that this thing has actually got a sim card inside it and it was connected by 3g so i think they must have done that at some stage i can't remember doing it but they put it on the 3g just so they could take payments so now what we've done is we've put this back onto ethernet and it's not connecting okay so now the owner is just um we went to JV Hi-Fi, there's JV Hi-Fi here in the Westfields, but they don't, they're also using, <coughs> using their phones, which you need a, uh, a VoIP. So that this one here is connected to the phone port, so they need their phones to work as well, right? So JV didn't have any uh, ones that a MBN configured to work with like a, a VoIP port. So uh, the owner now has he's just gone taking a drive down to Rouse Hill to uh, the Telstra Business Centre down there, and he's hoping that they'll be able to give him a new router. So I'm documenting all of this because this has been going on so long. Everybody's wiping their hands of it. Um, FPOS company's not doing it. MBN saying no. Telstra saying no. So I've cleared MBN. It's not their problem. Clear Telstra. Internet and service, it's not their problem. But I am 100% sure now it's a problem with their router. Even though they've changed it out once, they've given them a new one. And it looks like this is the box for the other one. They've got here. Right. So, we're just gonna get a new router. So the owner's gone out to Rouse Hill, he's gonna buy a new one. We're going to swap all that out, put all the settings in, plug everything in, and just hopefully that's it. That's the end of it. Um, and then his cameras aren't working um, because you can see this one here is coming back from the networks from the switch at the router underneath the desk, and that's going into this box here. So that has a work. So there is cameras. So that's why that isn't working. Is because I reckon all those network ports and that thing are stuffed. The Wi-Fi works because we've tested that with the dongle, tested it with my phone, his phone works, every time they use Wi-Fi it works. So it's 100% network um, ports on that uh, on that device. So uh, yeah, we'll get a new one, program it all up, plug it all in, see if it works. And hopefully that'll be six months worth of drama completed and finally working again. So the perks of working for basketball models. So uh, just spoke to the owner, he's on his way back from Rouse Hill, Telstra. He had to buy a new modem, so they didn't just give him one. But uh, yeah, so he is uh, on his way back, and they've already pre-configured it for us. So it should be a matter of hope them just plugging it in and uh, making sure that it works. So I come back with a brand new router here from Telstra. We've plugged it all in, and everything is working 100%. Now this is talking to this, and opens a till. So basically that's all it was. So after having, you know, I don't know what it was they said, 15 different people out here, changed over stuff all these different times. All it was, was the network switches on the router. Uh, that's it, signing off. Got some happy customers here.